You've come to fight as three men. And three men you are. What will you do without freedom? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Golly Potential YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to determine if your chakras are balanced or unbalanced. In this video, I'll be showing you a method of how to use. This is going to be the method utilizing the pendulum. Now, the last video I made, I was talking about the chakras. A few videos before that, I talked about the pendulum. So now we're bringing it all together to pretty much show you how to utilize the pendulum to use or to um, determine if your chakras are aligned or not. Now, I won't be showing it in this video per se that I'm recording at this moment. However, I will put up a video after this video that I did in the past, okay? I was a little bit younger, um, less facial hair, but nonetheless, I'm going over the chakras and utilizing the pendulum to show you how to do it and whatnot. So, I won't be saying it in the next, in the next clip, so I'm going to say it now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it if you feel like it can help others. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, see you in the next clip. Until next time, peace. Okay. So diving right into it, I'm going to identify the chakras on the on the body. So first things first, the first chakra or the root chakra is located underneath your groin. So some people call it the gooch area. That is where the root chakra is located. Moving up from there, right here in the sacral area, it's the sacral chakra. It's located right where your waist begins. It's pretty much below the belly button and above the root chakra. So it's between those two. That's the sacral chakra, the second one. Moving up from there to the third chakra. It's located in the stomach region. This is the solar plexus chakra. And moving up from there got located in this region it's the heart chakra the fourth chakra where we go from the fourth chakra you have the fifth chakra or the throat chakra from there third eye chakra center of your forehead from there the crown chakra the crown of your head those are the second the seven main chakras so, let's check them. So, I'm just going to do a simple little, quick little meditation. I don't know if you can call it meditation, just because it's going to be quick, because I've been meditating for a while now, so it's easier for me to get into trance quicker. So, go at your own pace take as long as you deem correct I mean another way or one way to test and see if you're in a good state is to if you feel like you're in there just ask yourself a question like um, okay for me I say I, I live in an apartment complex I wouldn't say just I don't know what cars are out there, but I'm say when I step out two vehicles down, it is a green car there. And then if it tells me yes, I go out and it's not a green car, then I know I'm not in a trance enough. If I go out and it is a green car, then I know. Or you can just ask yourself a question that you already know the answer to. But it's kind of tricky with that because you'll be more persuaded to you will focus on the answer yeah you'd be like yes 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 and then it will move in that direction but nevertheless let's go into this relaxed state so
So you can hold the pendulum however you want it. You can hold it like this. You can hold it like this. You could put it between your hand, hold it like such. You could drag it over. So whichever one feels right to you. But <clears throat> let's check the chakras. So we go about we go around the root chakra and we simply say wait. Before that you wanna test your pendulum out, make sure you get getting correct read. So simply show me now. Show me yes. Okay. See, for me, when I ask for yes and no, simple yes, back and forth, no, left or right. Some people, when it's a yes, it might go clockwise. And if it's a no, counterclockwise or vice versa. So once you got that, no, let's begin officially. <clears throat> Is this chakra open? Is the chakra open? Another yes. And while, while I'm doing this, I'm just putting my mind on the chakra, envisioning the color, envisioning this spinning wheel. Is the chakra open? Got a strong yes. The chakra open. Okay. Is the chakra open? The chakra open. Yeah, right. Now it's going to be difficult, obviously, to see the crown, but since I got a camera here, I'm going to check it out. You can do this in the mirror as well. Now my crown chakra normally opens up first when I get into a state so I can already feel it working. So is this chakra open? Was it yes, so A lot of times, I know this is my main question when I first started out, how do I know my third eye is open? How do I know? How do I know? And you realize the main thing I really cared about was the third eye. And this is a way to figure out if it is. 
indeed open. So, get you a pendulum or make one. Like I said, you can get an old screw, tie a string around it, and check your chakras. You can check other people's chakras as well. Just like I said, get into the state, test it, see if it's yes, see if it's no. See which way it spins for your yes and for your no. Go to the chakra, put your intention and attention on the chakra and simply ask, is this chakra open? You will get an answer. You come to fight as three men. And three men you are. What will you do without freedom?